This is my review of the Oster Pro 1200 blender, um, and I'm going to make salsa today to show you how the salsa function works. You could also use the pulse button and do it completely manually if you like, uh, but the purpose of this video is to show you just how the functions work that are already programmed into the machine. So I'm going to put in my tomatoes. That's four seeded Roma tomatoes. I have about a third of a red onion here, just coarsely chopped, kind of quartered really. And I have a whole jalapeno pepper that I partially seeded because I like a little heat, but not, not a lot. And two cloves of garlic that I just smashed a little bit. And the juice of one lime. And then I'm also going to put in a good pinch of kosher salt. All right, so put the lid on. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to straighten out the lid. It wasn't on, and I had to do it with two hands. I'm filming these with my cell phone, so bear with me here. All right, so here is the food chop salsa button in action. Okay, let's see what we got. Here is the salsa. It does tend to foam a little bit from all the moisture in the tomatoes, which is one of the reasons I like to seed it, because then it's not quite so watery when you're done. But the foam will settle. You know, it takes a little while, but the foam will settle. So, let's get this in some better light here. Salsa in the Oster Pro 1200. Thanks for watching.